All right, let's do an ice bath. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Just start the timer. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about ice baths. I'm going to share with you how easy it is to set this up and relatively inexpensive. So you could do it if you want to. <laughs> and I'm also going to cover um, the benefits um, of doing this. So this is the fourth one that I've done. And each time it gets a little easier, I'm going to explain one of the benefits is overcoming the fear of doing it. Um, so that's what's coming up. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you what is for me the number one benefit of sitting in this freaking ice water <laughs> for 10 minutes. <laughs> so uh, hang with me. I'm going to stay in here for 10 minutes with you and uh, present the content. Let's go. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy, and I won't be drinking any coffee at my <laughs> this morning. I am, as you can see, in an ice bath, and um, by way of background, um, for a long time now I've been taking uh, cold showers. So what that means is at the end of my shower, I do five minutes of alternating between hot and cold, and it really wakes me up in the morning and really makes me feel good. So then I thought, well, I should really try the ice bath. And four weeks ago, I, I took my first one. I'm gonna explain to you how I got this set up and uh, what that was like. So that's background. So let's get into how to set this sort of a thing up. Okay, so I'm about two minutes in now. Um, Normally what I do is I take a minute or so and just kind of breathe into the discomfort of this. Um, mostly it's my hands that hurt at first. It really helps to do it on a sunny day because you can get the sun shining on your face and that kind of makes you feel warm, even though 99% of your body is submerged in 45 degree ice water. So. How do you set something like this up? Well, um, I looked at all sorts of options and I thought, you know, I don't know how much I'm going to do this. I just want to try it. So for way under $100, um, you can set something like this up. So this blue tub, um, I'll show you where it is, what it looks like on um, Amazon, uh, was $65. And then I spent like $10 on the thermometer and i already had a timer that i use in the shower so i didn't have to buy a timer but i think it's less than ten dollars so what's that 65 70 85 dollars yeah so and then you buy a bag of ice my bag of ice is a 20 pound bag of ice and it costs seven dollars at Rayleigh's. so that's it and then you need water so just water from the hose some people use these inside their um, their showers and they let it fill up with warm water so that they can take a bath when they don't have one. Um, but I do it outside and um, yeah, so that's the setup. I fill it about two thirds with water. I throw half the bag of ice in, let it cool the water for about 10 minutes. Then I throw the other half of the bag in and, and then I get in. As you can see, there's still ice um, and it slowly melts. Um, over time because unless the water was free, frozen, um, the ice will melt. So that's how you set it up. So I'm just going to catch my breath here. So benefits. So one of the benefits is you have kind of a spiritual experience. Everything sort of slows down. Like right now I'm looking at a beautiful tree. You can hear the birds chirping. I don't know if my heart slows down because of the, the cold. I'm not a scientist or a body expert, but I can tell you experientially, 
it's pretty wonderful once you get used to the cold to just sort of take it all in sort of like an appreciation of life so that's one benefit now there are a whole bunch of physical benefits and I'm gonna put something on the screen oh which I'm gonna to read to you now this is the first time I've read from uh, Ice bath. Okay, so what you're seeing on the screen says an ice bath is a therapeutic technique that involves immersing the body in ice water for a short period of time. While the practice may seem daunting, it has been known to provide numerous health benefits. For instance, an ice bath can help reduce muscle soreness and inflammation after intense workouts of physical activity. It can also improve circulation, reduce swelling, and promote healing of injured tissues. Additionally, an ice bath can help decrease stress and anxiety, improve mood, and increase alertness. However, it's important to note that ice baths should be used in moderation and under the supervision of a healthcare professional to avoid any potential risk or adverse effects. So I didn't um, consult with any um, experts, any doctors. It just seemed like a no-brainer since I, since I was already doing the, um, you know, the cold showers. Um, so what I notice is I feel super great um, when I get out, right? I'm very cold and I'm gonna start shivering here pretty soon. And then when I get out, I continue to shiver. One of the keys is don't go take a hot shower afterwards. Let your body naturally um, adjust to what it's experienced and warm itself up naturally. That's the best way to get the most out of it. Um, so the biggest benefit, so the biggest benefit is that, uh, you're going to confront your fears. I don't know how many of you have ever done an initiation ritual, but what's common among initiation rituals is you're confronting something that you're incredibly afraid of and you take action either because you're being watched or because you're committed or other guys or women are doing it also. You're part of a group. But you have this fear and then you take action and you do what, do the thing you're most afraid of. And I, for my whole life, have been just, I don't like the cold. Part of the reason I want to go live in Thailand is it's always warm there. Um, so for me, doing this, I have to have an incredible amount of discipline to get into it because So doing it now four times, it kind of boosts my self-confidence. It makes me feel like I'm a pretty disciplined dude doing what I said I was going to do. You know, the saying, the way you do anything in life is the way you do everything in life. So that's been the biggest benefit, that I had this fear and I went ahead and I did it. And I'm doing it every Thursday. This is the fourth one. And I don't intend to stop because uh, I don't think I'll ever... Well, I'm getting so much benefit from it, so there's no real reason to stop. Okay, we're eight minutes in. So what happens after a while is your body kind of gets numb and you can feel the sun on your face. I don't know that that matters, but you don't feel cold anymore. In fact, it's kind of a warm feeling. Um, Wim Hof, who the first person I, I, I know that just stuff like this. He's called the Iceman. Um, I'll put his name on the screen so you can look him up if you want. He also does some amazing breathing work, but um, he, um, I lost my train of thought. That happens <laughs> in the ice bath. Thinking doesn't seem so important. Uh, you just want to kind of take everything in. talking about anyway so that's the biggest benefit so key takeaways it doesn't cost very much to um, set it up $65 wait let me do it right key takeaways um, it doesn't cost very much to, to set it up um, you may think you're crazy to even be doing it but I guarantee you you do it once you're going to feel amazing. You're going to feel like you could conquer the world and uh, do anything that you set your mind to. And that's pretty great. 
And if you have an aching body like I do from rideshare driving, it's really good for that. My shoulder feels better after I do this. My knees feel better after I do this. Um, so there are definitely some benefits physically in addition to incredible mental benefits. So I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to stay in here a few more minutes and just kind of enjoy the birds. See, oh wait, um, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you. Um, if you like the video, give it a like, please. I'm freezing my ass off for you here. <laughs> it helps the algorithm. And uh, go out and have a great day. Go tell someone you love them, surprise them, make their, make their week, make their month, make their year. Uh, we don't say that enough, in my humble opinion. Go out and have a great day. Be safe out there. Bye for now. Okay, so now the shivering is definitely underway. I know I said I was going to do two bags of ice, but I don't know if I could do two bags of ice and do a, a professional video. I didn't want to change too many things, so next week for sure. We'll do the two bags of ice. The temperature is right at 40, 48, it looks like. I think because the water isn't as cold going in, I do really need two bags of ice because it's getting warmer here. The temperatures are hitting high 60s and low 70s. So that means the, the water from the faucet is also warming up. So I'm starting with warmer water. Um, but anything 40 to 50 degrees is, is great. I even read an article that said 55 will do the same thing. Um, but I'd like to be in the 45 to 50 range. Actually really beautiful when you get to the 10 minute mark and you know you can get out but you don't want to and it just feels good to be inside here it's almost like a womb just odd because it's ice water you know? <laughs> uh. fuck it let's go for 15 three weeks in a row Shatter in the ceiling, breaking through the ceiling. The garden is getting a lot prettier. The trees now have, are green instead of just like sticks, you know? And uh, we don't have any roses yet. We have some pink flowers over there, which are very pretty. And I woke up this morning and I had a little bit of a sore throat. I thought, oh shit, I'm pushing myself. Maybe I shouldn't do the the thing today and then I took my cold shower sore throat went away I said fuck it let's do it let's just do it because I knew I wouldn't feel good tomorrow if I didn't knock this out don't want to make excuses you know Tell you the worst part of this it's not the getting in part it's like the half hour after i'm out because i can't get warm it takes a while i guess if i didn't stay in if i just did 10 minutes i probably would warm up faster
Okay, they say you should not stay in longer than 15. So just for my own health and my skin, they say, you should get out at 15. So I'm getting out. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 